Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateTools.com. This is a short tutorial showing how to explore past U.S. temperatures. I'm using Firefox for this video. Go to RealClimateTools.com and click on U.S. Temperatures. You can select from any of 1,280 stations in the United States Historical Climatology Network. This network forms the core of the official United States temperature record. For this video, we're going to look at Nebraska. The first station that comes up in Nebraska is at Albion. I'm going to censor the data by clicking on the Reset Zoom button. You can see that it was very hot in Albion during the 1930s. It was 115 degrees on July 24, 1936. Let's take a look at all temperature readings over 100 degrees Fahrenheit at Albion. But first, let's click on the Help button. It shows that to zoom vertically we do scroll wheel plus V. Let's dismiss this message and take a look at Nebraska's past hot temperatures. I'm going to click up near the top of the graph. Now I'm going to press the V key on the keyboard and turn the scroll wheel on the mouse upwards to make it zoom vertically. You can see that we're just getting hotter temperatures now. Let's hover the mouse over this bottom line of red dots. You can see it says 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we're seeing all of the temperature readings taken at Albion which were above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 100, 101, 102, 103, all the way up to 115 in 1936. If we look over here in the count box, we can see that Albion has had 492 readings over 100 degrees since 1895. Let's take a screenshot of this for future reference. I'm going to click on the Screenshot button. When we did that, we downloaded two files into the default download directory of the browser. One of these files was the screenshot. Let's take a quick look at that. That's what we were just looking at. The other file is a CSV file containing all of the data we were just looking at in numerical form. Let's take a look at that file. This file shows all 492 100 degree readings at Albion, Nebraska. At the top we see the station information, the name of the station, the name of the state, the ID number, latitude, longitude, and a link to the source data. You can plug the latitude and longitude directly into Google Earth and see exactly where the station is located. But let's go back and look at the graph. We can see that the past was much hotter in Albion. Let's find out how much hotter. There's been 492 100 degree readings at Albion since 1895. Let's take a look at how many of them occurred before 1960. What I'm going to do is move the screen to the right so that all of the readings after 1960 disappear off the right side. I'm going to do this using the right arrow key. So you can see they're quickly moving off the screen. And when I get to 1960, I will stop. So 407 of the 492 readings occurred before 1960. Let's take a screenshot of that and then we're going to scroll the other direction. I'm going to use the left arrow key to make all of the temperature readings over 100 degrees before 1960 disappear. As you can see, Albion has only had 85 temperature readings over 100 degrees since 1960. Compare that with the 407 readings which occurred before 1960. You can see that hot temperatures were about five times more common prior to 1960 than they've been since. Let's take a screenshot of that for posterity. Let's zoom out again and look at the entire Albion temperature data set. The period from 1910 through 1950 was extremely hot at Albion, but it's been cooler since then. Now that you've seen this tutorial, you can go off and look at the other 1,279 stations for yourself. And please visit Toto Kyrie and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com and realclimatetools.com.